Sea stars are invertebrates that belong to a group of animals called echinoderms. There are about 2,000 species of sea stars that range in size from less than an inch to three feet wide. Sea stars can be found in all of the world's oceans. They possess thousands of tiny tube feet that they use to move across the seafloor. Most only have five arms, but some species have many more. The end of each arm contains an eye spot that can detect light. Sea stars are predators and scavengers. Their diet depends on the species and may include invertebrates on the seafloor like bivalves, coral, sponges, and urchins. Their mouth is located on their underside. Some species are capable of extending their stomach out of their mouth while consuming prey. They will latch their tube feet onto the shell of their prey, then pry the shell open just enough for them to reach their stomach inside. It can take several hours for their protruded stomach to digest the prey. Instead of blood, sea stars have a system of water-filled canals called the water vascular system. This system is what enables them to move, feed, and breathe. A plate on top of their body called the madreporite allows water to enter their water vascular system. Seawater is periodically drawn in to replenish the system. Most sea stars can regenerate lost arms and willingly shed an arm in order to escape from a predator. Their hard calcium carbonate skeleton protects them from many predators. But they are still preyed on by animals like birds, crabs, and sea otters. Most starfish reproduce by releasing eggs or sperm directly into the water. Fertilized eggs hatch into larvae that drift as plankton before settling to the bottom of the sea floor. Some species can also reproduce asexually by fission or self-amputation of arms that will grow into a completely new starfish. The lifespan of starfish also varies by species, but some can live for decades. In most areas, the presence of sea stars is very important in maintaining the biodiversity of marine ecosystems because they prey on animals that could easily become overpopulated. However, Outbreaks of the coral-eating crown of thorn starfish can actually be detrimental to reefs. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.